welcome back to my channel diamonds and washi my name is katie and today i am here with another sneak peek unboxing from diamond art club thanks diamond art club for sending this over for me to share with all of you this is one of their new releases this weekend hopefully this will help you decide if you want this one to be on your shopping list and the kit i have to share with you this week is called dragon artist by nina thomas and i will get you a better look at that original artwork once we actually open up this kit but it's going to be a big one square diamonds 75 by 70 centimeters and it's just chock full of details i can't wait to show you once we open this up now this kit along with the other new releases are going to be coming out tomorrow which is saturday march 2nd at 9 30 a.m pacific 12 30 p.m eastern if you're in the diamond to ruby tier of the rewards program you do get a half an hour early access window um, which you should get an email or a text about that um, or they actually added a feature where as long as you're logged into your account and you check in at the early access window which is half an hour early go to the new arrival section and if you're logged in the new releases should show up for you right there so anyway uh, let me give you just a little quick tour of the box and its features so we have this blue branding here which you'll see with diamond art club's square drill diamond painting kits then on the back there is some information about how to diamond paint i also have a beginner video which you'll find linked in the comments or sorry the description box below here's your kit contents and then if you take a look here is a discount code you can scan for 10% off your purchase. If you're brand, brand new to Diamond Art Club and thinking of making your very first purchase from the website, I actually do have a 20% off coupon code you're welcome to use. It's just for first time purchases. Um, it's my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E and the number 20, or I also have a link in the description that you can click instead. And like I said, that's 20% off your very first purchase. Now it is an affiliate code, so I may make a small commission if you choose to use it. I always put that right back into my channel here and making content for you but i don't want you to feel obligated whatsoever either there are other discount codes that you'll see in this video and floating around out there i would just gently suggest that you take advantage of one of those discount codes don't pay full price don't pay full price there's too many discounts uh, discount codes out there uh, that you should take advantage of so included in your box is going to be a toolkit it's going to have everything you need to do your diamond painting there's your contents and let's take a look and let's see you are going to get a pen and a squishy the color on those will vary and you'll also get some thin plastic multi-placers a four and a seven placer you can pop them into the end of your pen if you want to try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time we also have a pair of tweezers they are sharp on the end so you'll want to keep the cover on them when you're not using those and we've got some pink wax in this little caddy here there is a thin plastic film on here that you want to make sure you peel back before you try to um, load up your pen and then we've got a bag of baggies you can store your leftover diamonds in these if you like and then we have a tray with this is not you know just a piece of trash this is actually a tray stopper you can pop in there that'll help stop the diamonds from sliding out and then we have a roll of washi tape the print on this is going to vary and uh, i have a video actually that you'll find in the description box dedicated to explaining you know how where when and why you can use washi tape with your diamond painting and then we also have a little cover minder now these will vary in style and they have magnets on the back you can use this to hold back the plastic cover of the area that you're working in if you want to so that is everything that's included in your toolkit and then we also get this little sticker that's included um, i use this in my paper logbook once i start working on a kit i like that it has the original artwork as well as the um, title and the artist name and these stats as well some people will use this on the side of the box to help organize their stash a little bit more clearly um, or you can find something else you know crafty to do with it but i do like the diamond art club includes that everything else you'll find in your in this is plastic bag dust cover <laughs> Let's take a look how is this going to be oriented um, this way okay oh my gosh <gasps> look at that <laughs> oh my gosh you guys okay so um i don't think that this was deliberately based on you know i don't think this is fan art really um but i will say that this very strongly gives me fourth wing vibes um i don't know if, if you're familiar with the book uh a, a little bit like maybe like 
Akatar at Court of Thorns and Roses adjacent vibes because like Fair's a painter, but like there's not like dragons. I don't know, but um, definitely it gives me some fourth wing <laughs> kinds of uh, vibes. It's really, really fun, you guys. I am just, I, I, I my eye is just completely caught on all of these little details over here. I'm gonna show you the original artwork in a bigger form here in a moment, and I'm just gonna, I just, I, I'm so happy that they were able to do this piece. This is so cool, I love it. Okay, so there was a little kind of tour of the canvas. We did have these diamonds included. We will look at these more closely in just a little bit. Um, but these were also wrapped up in here as well. So there is um, a little bent there, <laughs> a pamphlet. There's some info in here that we might find helpful, like what's included in your kit a link for a beginner video. You'll also find one in the description box, like I mentioned. Here's a link to the VIP Facebook group. That's a handy resource once you have made your first purchase. Then some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you. Some tips and tricks, yet another discount code. And here is uh, the mobile app. And you do get 20% off your first purchase through the app. You can be strategic about it. You know, uh, you can use like one of the first time codes like mine for 20% off, then download the app and use that first time code in the app. Uh, you can be strategic about it. Okay, so this did come crumpled. This doesn't usually happen. It sometimes does, but thankfully it doesn't seem to have affected the labels at all. No harm done, but oh, you guys, here you go. There is that original artwork. Now, I remember this back from when it was in voting, which was not that long ago. Voting is um, in the Diamond Art Club VIP group. They will sometimes put up polls for us to vote on, you know, favorite images. And depending on how those do, and among other factors, they may get turned into diamond paintings. I remember this image being in one of those voting rounds. And I remember looking at it and going, this is incredible. But also, I am just afraid that it's not gonna make the cut because look at all of these little tiny details and things that are happening in here, even over here. All of the, oops, sorry, the dragons, goes like everything about this just seems like it requires such a high level of detail. I just thought, well, I adore this artwork, but I just, I don't know that I see it making it through and getting actually produced. And so I'm so happy that it did. So here, let me show you here if I can kind of show you okay so like here's the original artwork and okay, we're looking at all this down here and then like look at the render it looks really good in my opinion i'm really impressed um that's that's kind of the area i would most worry about but even if looking at like at the dragon and her face I'll put you down a little bit more here but like that's the artist and the dragon and it's like there it is it looks, I don't know, what do you guys think? I think it looks really nice actually. So I'm impressed. Uh, anyway, this sticker sheet, here's the title at the top, Dragon Artist. The artist's name is Nina Thomas and we have a spot to write our start and end date. Here are the stats again. And then here's a set of sticker labels over here. These are pre-cut for you. So if you wanted to kit your diamonds up into storage containers or baggies, you can then put these stickers on and that makes that process go really quickly and smoothly. The numbers that you see in the right hand side, the color codes, uh, these come from the DMC color code system. The D it's the DMC brand of floss. Most diamond painting companies use this system. With Diamond Art Club though, there's a couple of exceptions I want to point out to you. First, by the way, sorry if you hear my cat just nomming in the background, <laughs> decided it's lunchtime. Anything under the number 150 is gonna be a special kind of diamond called an AB. And then if you look at the end of your color list, we will sometimes have colors that have a letter at the beginning. In this case, we have three colors that have the letter Z in the front. That's gonna note a, uh, denote a fairy dust diamond. And I'll tell you more about ABs and fairy dust diamonds when we're looking at the diamonds later. I also wanna point out that occasionally, especially with these newer releases, you may see some color codes that are in the 6,000s, and these are actually exclusive to Diamond Art Club. Diamond Art Club makes all their diamonds in house, and they have, you know, noticed some gaps in what the DMC code offers in terms of colors. And since they make all their diamonds in house, they make their own colors, and they're going, okay, let's add in some colors to fill in these gaps. And that means that they can make these diamond paintings that much closer to the original artwork. And I love it. I think that's such a great idea. This kit's gonna have 53 colors in total, so not overwhelming in terms of um, the actual total color amount. Now, let me take you on a little tour of the canvas. Oh, but first, I will go ahead and put a picture up on the screen of the whole canvas and frame, since we aren't able to easily see it all here, and I want you to be able to see that. And then let's take a look up close at some of the features of the canvas itself. So um, we do have the branding at the top, Do It Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas are 
scalloped and poked. You shouldn't have to worry about fraying on these. And the backing is this really, really soft and plush material. I find the material of the canvas to be both really malleable and really sturdy. I think that it holds diamonds well, lays flat nicely. It's just nice to work with. Diamond Art Club also uses poured glue on their canvases. Um, it is pretty sticky. <laughs> I don't have any issues with the stickiness on my canvases. If you take a look here, you can also see that these uh, this canvas also features their somewhat newer plastic covers, which are perforated. You can see the lines here. Uh, like I said, this is kind of a newer edition. And these sections, these pre like perforated sections are four by four inches or 10 by 10 centimeters ish. And you can choose to ignore them and not use them if you don't want to, which honestly, that's what I did on my last kit. But if you like the idea of having this, this plastic kind of pre cut and sectioned for you, um, then it's, it's a nice feature. And all you have to do is you find where that, where is that line? Did I just miss it? Oh, it doesn't go through. Interesting. Well, that's kind of a problem. It doesn't go through all the way right here. Okay. Well, <laughs> let me demo it here for you instead. Uh, if you want to pull it apart, if you are using these sections, just give it a good tug and it will split right there along that perforation. I'll have to mention that to them. Just be like, hey, so that's a <laughs> little error there. Um, then we do have a color list up here at the top left and you'll find the same color list over here at the bottom right the bottom left of the canvas you'll find a thumbnail of the artwork and then the title the size and a copyright with the artist's name and sometimes the licensing company as well because a lot of artists work with licensing companies what this means is that diamond art club has legally licensed this artwork and that means the artist or sometimes the artist via their licensing company has both given permission for the use of their artwork and is being compensated for it as well that's the case of with all of diamond art club's kits with the exception of a small handful of public domain pieces um, like old masters type artwork but um, everything that diamond art club has is completely above board in that sense. So I appreciate that because art theft is common in the crafting world and I want to support companies that are doing right by artists. Here at the bottom we have their socials, yet another discount code. And then here is information about their lifetime warranty. Now this is as long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty, which can include things like if you run out of diamonds or have any trouble with the canvas or the glue, contact their customer support and they'll take you from there. Now looking up close, we do have areas of what I'd, uh, that we'd call color blocking. So color blocking is literally when you have big blocks of color like this. Uh, you can use a multi-placer, you'll have that color in your tray for longer. It tends to go faster because of that. By contrast, all of these little details over here, I think are, yes, going to be great examples of what we call confetti, which is the opposite of color blocking. More color changes in a small area here. You might be doing more single placing. You might just, you know, it's like there's more of a sprinkling of drills, not just big blocks of color. Um, the payoff with that is, is that you will get typically more detail, sometimes nicer color blending and shading. And so I like a nice mix of both of my canvases because confetti keeps it interesting. Color blocking keeps it moving. Sorry, working with an unwieldy canvas here. There is the canvas she's printing, uh, the painting on. The dragon's head up close. The windows up here and some of the walls have some color blocking, so that'll go a little bit faster. Even the kind of gilded cage here has some kind of linear blocking. So, and there's a look at her face. Faces are hard, and I think that looks pretty good for the size, especially. So let me grab my measuring tape and let's see where we're at size-wise. Diamond Art Club is usually true to size, but I always like to double check. I have noticed that they don't seem to really do canvases that are larger than around 70-ish on the shortest side. Okay, this is 75. I wonder if that's kind of a restriction in terms of like their boxes or just some other logistics, but I have noticed that. I wonder if otherwise they would have gone even bigger on this one. Uh, but the shortest side on this one is 70. It's supposed to be 70 exactly. And yes, it is actually measuring at 70 centimeters on the nose. So we're true to size. Uh, let me grab the diamonds. We're gonna take a look at those next. There is a sticker on here that tells you what canvas these diamonds go with in case you store the canvas and diamonds separate from one another outside the box they came in. There's our color spread, of course, kind of lots of darker colors because we have all that dark dragon and the walls and whatnot, but we'll have some pops of color with the different details that are going on in here too. Now Diamond Art Club does print the DMC code on the bags. And so 
Uh, they even actually also put this line underneath because there are some DMC codes that if you flip them upside down, they, oh, hold on a second, that is one, two, three, four, five bags of $37.99 of dark gray. Um, but yes, they put that line underneath so that you know which way is right side up because some DMC codes you can flip upside down and it will still make a DMC color that exists, but a different one. So lots of neutrals obviously here. I'm guessing that our special diamond colors, we're not necessarily gonna have huge amounts of, um, but I think that's gonna mean that they're really gonna pop more against the neutral colors in this canvas. Um, as I mentioned earlier, Diamond Art Club makes all their diamonds in-house, both their rounds and their squares. Actually, hold that thought, you guys. Our first AB Diamond 139. Now, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. These get their name from the Northern Lights. You'll see that they have this beautiful, super sparkly iridescent coating on the top that's reflecting a really gorgeous range of colors. It is gonna highlight and draw your eye to the areas that this has been charted in. So this is our first of three ABs. And yes, I will be sure to go through the canvas with you and show you where these special drills are gonna be found once we get to it. Here's one of our 6,000 range colors, not a special drill, just a color that doesn't otherwise exist in the DMC. Apparently that shade of brown. <laughs> Uh, but yes, Diamond Arc makes all their diamonds in-house. They are resin and they have, you know, full quality control over their diamonds in that sense too. And I feel like that means that usually their, their squares are really consistent in size and shape, pretty minimal on the trash and are just generally really nice to work with. They're really highly faceted as well. And um, I just, they're good. To, I, I enjoy working with them. They're, they're solid quality. Uh, here is our first fairy dust color it's always easier if I zoom you in for these but if you take a look these have it's subtle but it's there a glitter coating brushed on the top of these this is a really subtle color but it's there um that it's just like someone brushed a really fine glitter on the tops of these diamonds it's going to shimmer and just very lightly dry your eye and enhance those areas that it has been placed it has been placed so that's kind of a pretty almost it's like just kind of like a light beige those are first fairy dust color. I'm hoping that I didn't miss any of the others in those other strands. Oh, here's our second fairy dust color. It's a royal purple, Z3837. This one, I feel like you can see the glitter on just a little bit more easily. There you go. I love that. That's so, so rich. <laughs> and then okay, here's our third fairy dust color, Z3809. It's a gorgeous dark teal. Yeah, just tiny amounts of these special drills. And then 115, that's our second AB, cherry red. And 131, tangerine orange, tiny handful of, of that last AB color. So yes, special drills, gonna be pretty, pretty few and far between here. But again, that's kind of what I was speculating at the beginning, just given um, the color palette in this kit, it feels like, that's about right, <laughs> that it's, those pops of color are more gonna happen in some of the actually like colorful elements, I think, but let's take a look and find exactly where we're gonna see those. Down here, I do see some of this gray is actually the gray AB, and there's a little bit of that light brown, a uh, fairy dust color, I'm sorry, fairy dust here and here, as well as the light colors over here. That is the brown fairy dust. And then let me check and make sure I'm not missing any of the others I don't think so no <laughs> it's my husband's computer getting slack messages apparently um and then let's check over here let's see oops sorry that I bumped you uh right here we have just a line of five of the gray ab right there and then some of the light brown fairy dust and in her hair, the lightest color you're seeing is a fairy dust highlighting color. That'll look really pretty, I think. She has one dot of the cherry red AB in her lips. And then, make sure I'm not missing it. So this color in her paint palette, that is that dark teal fairy dust color. The yellow orange color, that's the orange AB. Then we have the red AB right here. And I think that's, okay, then this color right here is the light brown fairy dust. And then if we hop over here, this red is red AB. Um, 
What's the color I'm most worried about missing? Okay, it is. There's the purple fairy dust is right here. I also missed the purple fairy dust color is back here. There's a bunch of the purple fairy dust right in whatever. Is that like a bottle or a vase maybe? Um, and then hopping back over to these, these parts of the desk, this red is ready B. Uh, there's some of the light brown fairy dust here and here. We have the red AB here as well. There's some gray AB right here, um, gray AB, light brown fairy dust, and some of the red AB through here. I think any of the red you're seeing is gonna be the red AB. I don't think there's like a, a red color in this canvas that is not AB. Um, so over here we have red AB as well as the um, kind of dark teal fairy dust color. And let me see, the dark teal fairy dust is right here and right here as well. There's some gray AB, some orange AB, more gray AB, <laughs> a couple dots of the orange AB right here. Uh, some of the light brown fairy dust sprinkled in here. And then these flowers, there's gray ABs outlining in these petals. There's orange ABs that you're seeing here and here. There's purple fairy dust throughout this flower. There's also purple fairy dust right here as well as over here and here. I don't know what all of these specific desk elements are since I'm not looking at the original artwork and there's a lot going on, but just, yeah, there's the teal fairy dust right here. So just know that like, yes, these are where you're gonna find the majority of the special diamonds. However, I'm wondering if we're gonna see some of those gray ABs. Yes, there are some gray ABs in the dragon scales. So um, right here, which I think is the claw, one of his claws, his or her claws, um, there's gray ABs. And then along uh, his snout, I don't know why I'm going with his, but there we go. <laughs> there's gray ABs. It's the lightest gray color you're seeing. These claws over here have gray ABs as well. And right here, there's gray ABs. And then we take a look I thought I saw some up here yes so some of the lightest gray colors on the spikes along his back and neck that is gray AB there's some here as well and then if we hop over to this bird cage there's actually a little bit of the light brown fairy dust um, just in a few spots the lightest colors you're seeing here along the side just a little bit of subtle highlight I think and I think that about covers it. As always, it's certainly possible that I missed some of the special drills uh, in this one, just given that there is like a lot of details going on over, especially down here at the bottom left. And so my apologies if so, but just to give you a general sense of, yeah, the ABs, oh, I did miss one. Okay, that dark teal fairy dust is in the dragon's eye too. Okay, um, that just hopefully gives you a sense of where you're gonna find those special drills. And just to look at the canvas overall, I am really taken with this one and I'm very eager to see how all of these, these elements over here are gonna turn out um, and all those details. And then of course, I think just the dragon and like our female character here are going to be epic. I think it's going to be so cool. So um, I did see, I think when I saw people talking about this one when it was in the voting and some people were saying, is she like painting and creating the dragon based on the image? Like, is she like wielding some magic here or is she actually, you know, painting the dragon, you know, the painting from the real dragon that's here. So I just, I love it. You know, you guys, you know, I'm a sucker for fantasy artwork. I'm especially a sucker for dragons and especially in this, the year of the dragon, <laughs> it just feels especially apt but uh let me know what your thoughts are let me give you a super quick recap this is called dragon artist it's by nina thomas and it's 70 by 75 centimeters 53 colors with square diamonds we've got three ab's three fairy dice and this along with the other new releases are coming out tomorrow which is saturday march 2nd 9 30 a.m pacific 12 30 p.m eastern don't forget, if you are in the Ruby or Diamond tier of the rewards program, you do get that half an hour early access window. Um, let me know if this one or any of the other new releases this week are going to be on your shopping list or if you have any questions. Be sure to check out the other sneak peeks from my fellow fabulous content creators. And um, best of luck to you if you're shopping tomorrow, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I welcome you uh, to subscribe if you want to see more diamond painting content from me. I'd love to have you here. Otherwise, I'm going to let you go. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.